Hello guys, today I will demonstrate you a project with Rosen permissions in Laravel with Vue.js, Inertia and Spotty permission package. Pretty popular combination. So we decided to make a demo inside of our new section project examples on Laravel daily website. This one will be premium, so available only for premium members. But in this video, I will, as usual, explain the main things that you need to know. So first, quick demo, and then we'll dive into the code. So this is the project based on Laravel Breeze, and if I register with fake filler Chrome extension with a user that is not admin, and I go to tasks CRUD, I see only create button, but I don't see any buttons of edit and delete because I don't have permissions. So for example, I can create something, create a task, which appears at the bottom, and that's it. I don't have any more permissions. If I log out and log in as admin, like this, tasks and here we go i can edit or delete tasks and now the code let's start with the controller task controller typical route resource nothing really fancy here and in here in the table inertia render of tasks index in the vue.js we will make the checks if some buttons should appear in the Vue.js template. I will get to that in a minute. But for now, let's scroll down the controller and we see gate authorize here for create, for store method, edit, update, and delete. So that gate authorize uses the ability task, destroy task, edit, and task create, which are powered by Spotty Laravel permission library. So in the database, we have this. This is the database table of permissions. This is the database table of roles, admin number one and user number two, and then pivot table that the admin role has access to everything, all the three permissions, but user role has only create permission. So on the back end, we secure that with gate authorize. This is a personal preference. You can also do that inside a form request, for example, store task request instead of authorize true, you could return here. For example, you can have this user can inside of authorize, and then you don't need that check in the controller here. That's a personal preference. So that's the checks for the back end. Now let's go to Vue.js and inertia. So in the index view in the table, we need to hide the buttons for create, edit, and delete accordingly. In the template in the table, or in fact, even before the table, we have this link to task create with this v if. As you can see, it's can dot and then name of that permission of that ability. And later in the table, same thing for each of the tasks, we can see v if task edit and down below v if task destroy. Now, how does that data get to that index.view? On top, we have can computed property page props auth can. And that page props are global properties that are handled in the middleware called handle inertia requests. And here on top of parent share, you can add any properties you want, including, for example, auth user. This is used to show user data here on top right and then can we get all the permissions using spotty laravel permission package method of get permissions via roles also performing a few collection operations to get the data exactly in the format that we need and so that you would understand those collection operations let's dump them and see what's inside something like this let's dd data auth can the result is this for the admin now, if we remove that all, for example, the result is different structure. It's a collection, but we need the array for inertia for Vue.js. It's still the same data, but wrapped around collection. And then if we remove the collapse, then it's still the same collection of items of array, but then each item is an array itself. So that's another layer we needed to remove. And then finally, if we don't do map at all, let's try to do that. We refresh and we have items and then each item is a model object of spotty permission with all that data so as you can see with all those collection operations we got to what we needed which is the array that we can use as the if can tasks create so yeah that's basically it for that demo project what do you think would you have done something differently and again if you want the full source this is available for laravel daily premium members among other projects that we release and i will keep shooting videos summarizing those projects so it's still a lesson for you here for free on youtube that's it for this time and see you guys in other videos